12-year-old cyberbully victim commits suicide vertical line all jz america dot global header background image url slash content slash jam slash jcr colon content slash header slash image and stop dot adapt dot 960 dot high dot 1 trillion 379 billion 41 million 898 thousand 344 dot jpg at media minimum width 768px and max width 959px dot global header background image URL slash content slash jam slash jcr colon content slash header slash image double dot adapt dot nine hundred sixty dot high dot one trillion three hundred seventy nine billion forty one million eight hundred ninety eight thousand three hundred forty four dot jpg at media max width seven hundred sixty seven px dot global header background image URL slash content slash jam slash jcr colon content slash header slash them jam mobile dot adapt dot seven hundred fifty three dot medium dot one trillion three hundred seventy nine billion forty one million eight hundred ninety eight thousand three hundred forty four dot jpg display mobile navigation display mobile search bar news video shows schedule more shows sections us International Economy Technology Science Environment Health Education Culture Sports Trending Serious War Natural Disasters Economy Religion Spirituality Ethics Search Form 12-Year-Old Cyber Bully Victim Commits Suicide September 12, 2013 6.28 p.m. at Girls Terrorized Her Online Posted Hate Message Local Sheriff Says Charges May Be Filed Under Cyber Bullying Laws Topics Culture Crime Florida. Viewed comments. Scott Olson flash Getty images. A 12-year-old Florida girl has committed suicide after she was allegedly bullied online by more than a dozen other girls, and a sheriff said Thursday that he is investigating whether he can file charges under a new state law that deals with cyberbullying. The case follows several suicides by teens who were bullied through anonymous trolling on social media websites. Sheriff Grady Judd said that Rebecca Ann Sedwick jumped to her death on Monday at an old cement facility in Lakeland, Florida. Investigators said she had been despondent after other girls had posted hateful messages about her online. Sedwick was absolutely terrorized on social media, Judd said. The Lakeland Ledger reported that detectives found multiple social media applications in which Sedwick was frequently bullied with messages including Go Kill Yourself, and Why Are You Still Alive? Judd said that the parents of all 15 girls believed to have been involved in the bullying have cooperated with detectives, and that several cell phones and laptops have been confiscated. He said charges, including cyberstalking, could be filed. If we can get any evidence of a criminal offense, the person or persons involved will be punished, he said. Students and parents from Sedwick's school said bullying is a problem, local news reported. Other students complain that reporting bullying earns them the title of snitch among fellow students, and that school authorities have ignored their concerns. Warning signs. Local media also reported that Sedwick's mother had complained to school officials and had filed a bullying report with the district before her daughter's death. Before her death, Sedwick had searched questions online related to suicide, including how many over-the-counter drugs do you take to die? And how many Advil do you have to take to die? Judd said a 12-year-old boy in North Carolina, whom Sedwick met through social media, had known of her plan. Sedwick messaged him only hours before her death, saying she was dead and I'm jumping, I can't take it anymore. Judd said that detectives are trying to investigate the social media applications that Sedwick might have used, but that some of them are based in other countries. If you bully somebody online and it's reported to us and we can build a credible case, we will charge you, he said. Anonymous trolling? Sedwick had been active on a social media site which is based outside the United States and through which users can ask Yakather questions. It has about 60 million users worldwide, many of them anonymous and under 18 years old. The site had earlier come under fire after it was linked to suicides of at least five teens who allegedly suffered harassment on it. Critics say the fact that users can remain anonymous is one factor that leads to extreme bullying because the users do not see their victims' reactions. All J's a and Wire Services. Join the conversation. Find All J's a America on your TV. Go. Places. Florida. Topics. Crime. Related news. Bus overturns on Ohio Highway. Brain-eating amoeba found in water supply in Louisiana.